in other news, ten people have been killed at Karak Castle in Jordan. A group of armed men were holed up at the popular tourist destination for several hours with visitors trapped inside. The gunmen took refuge there after going on a shooting rampage through the city centre. The deadly standoff here began when the militants opened fire on a police officer attempting to conduct a house search. They then fled the scene, later opening fire in several locations in the city, including a fire station. Seven of the people killed were police officers, three were civilians, including one Canadian tourist. Well, Carrot Castle is 800 years old and is located near the Israeli border in what is generally considered to be a safe area for foreign travellers. We discussed the overall security in the country with political analysts. Dr. Mazin Maji. The term uh, safe and secure is refers to a local situation, meaning that there is nothing going on in Jordan, meaning there is no fighting, there is no daily attacks. That, that means it's safer than comparing to Syria, comparing to maybe Iraq, and maybe comparing even to Egypt. But, but saying that, it doesn't mean that it's safe uh, because we are in borders with all these countries and we have groups inside the country who are uh, like sleeping cells who could be acting anytime a spillover from iraq or syria over to jordan uh, could be uh, very dangerous to jordan and that's how the news looks so far today here in rt up next we look at the fate of refugee children in europe who have gone missing from reception centers